I'm Alexandra Morton, and I'm in the Discovery Islands at Cirrus Rocks. I'm here to check on the juvenile fish that are migrating to sea this year. You know, for 20 years we've seen massive sea lice outbreaks in this area because of the salmon farms. But this year is different because in December, the Minister of Fisheries made a landmark decision to prohibit the restocking of 19 salmon farms. And she was listening to seven First Nations of this area. They said they did not want these salmon farms restocked. And uh, so they're standing empty right now. And so for the first time in probably 30 years, the young salmon from the Fraser River and from mainland and Vancouver Island rivers are going to sea unharmed. They're going through waters that are nurturing them rather than killing them. And so I came down because I really wanted to see it for myself. And the impact on the wild salmon is like immediately visible. You can see it right now, the first year that these farms are not here, the fish look beautiful. I never thought this day would come. I mean, last year, the sea lice outbreak was catastrophic. Half of the salmon farms in the Discovery Islands were over the three lice threshold that was set in 2003 to protect young wild salmon. They just went over. DFO left them. And so the infection rate for sockeye going through here was 100% with an average of nine lice per fish on these little, little juvenile salmon, which we know they can't survive. The pink and chum were equally wrecked. I never thought that one year later we'd be looking at salmon this beautiful and healthy. So I am so grateful to Fisheries Minister Bernadette Jordan and to the seven First Nation chiefs who said, no, no more. Get the Atlantic salmon farms out of here. So what this teaches us is that when you take the salmon farms out, the lice disappear. No farms, no lice. We're definitely living the unwritten chapters of my book. You know, I, ha I do wish maybe I'd waited and uh, was able to put in the good news about how the salmon looked this year, but you had to cut it off somewhere. So the next chapter really will be, how do we turn these fish back on? Because there's incredible science in DFO where you read the immune system of the fish and they actually begin to talk to you. And they could tell us you know, what we're doing wrong and where, and we could work with them and they could become our teachers. So I'm really looking forward to that next part.